So in this video, which is part four of how to create the arrow tip, we're going to focus on how we can add up some space around it or scale down this chart and add the text in there. So if you want to have the source code of this video and many others, check out my Patreon page. If you have a question, put it on Discord. And of course, uh, check out the video that's related to this if you want to follow along. So I'm going to scroll down here. And what I want to do here is uh, in here, we're going to say scaling down the chart. So I'm going to remove this and save that. Refresh, you can see here we have this. And we're going to fine tune that one. Don't worry about it. So I'm going to say a scale chart. I'm going to grab that, copy. And I'm going to say constant scale equals ID scale chart. And let's say here before we draw the data sets, chart arcs and plugin options. Then what I want to do here, um, function or expression, am I correct? Or no, no, of course here not. I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Constant, do the object destructuring equals chart. So what I'm going to get in here is I'm going to get the CTX. And what I will do here is the chart area. I'm going to use the chart area, specifically the width. So the width of the chart area is from this point from left to right. This will be very important to calculate the size of the donut chart, or at least the new size of it. So what I'm going to do here is the following. What I want to do is I want to say constant, and we say scale factor. I want to scale down our item. Let's say instead of 100%, I will make it 80%, so I say 0 0.8. And then what I want to do here is basically get the outer radius. So the outer radius is this very outer border. How do we get that? You should know already if you follow the video, but just in case. So this data, zero dot outer radius. Save this, refresh, you see you will get a number. That's 158 plus plus. So what I want to do now is I want to reassign a new value. So I say constant outer radius like that then I'm going to say here the following um, the new so it's a constant new outer radius equals the width that we calculated and I will divide this by 4 so you might wonder why deep by 4 and not by 2 if you divide it by 2 you get the width of probably approximately of one donut. However, I'm playing with the outer radius. The outer radius would be from the whole donut, this point in the center, there, to the end of one of these outer borders, meaning you only get the half of that. So the half of the half means a quarter. So we're going to divide it by four, or else we get the diameter if we only do divide it by two. Then you get this size to here. We don't want that. We need to have it from the center. So that's why we're doing this. And then what we can do here, scale factor, multiply by that. All right, so once we've got that, the next thing what I want to do now is make sure that all of our data points have the new outer radius value. So what I'm going to do here is going to grab this, say here dot for each, and then I'm going to say here char, uh, no, sorry, not char, but data point, comma, index, function our expression, there we are, that's the one I was confused with when I was up, but anyway, so we got that here, and then I'm going to say here, from the data point dot outer radius will be equal to the new outer radius. Let's save that, refresh. So as you can see here now, it's getting smaller. Just one note, this is very important. If you go too far down, you will see that the outer radius will be inverted. And what happens if it's inverted? You can see that the tooltip will go on the outer radius, which is now inner. Well, the inner radius is outer. So as you can see that if you really want to scale down like this, you have to consider the value here up, uh, the cutout percentage. So if you say cutout percentage 40 or 30 or something like that, there you are. You can see now it starts to work again accordingly. So let's give this back, I guess it was 80. And 80 is too, as you can see, is even too small. 
So let's do it 70. Of course, because I was headed. I had the value on a 40 or 50. Uh, let's see where are you. There you are. Let's make this back on 80. All right, so that's acceptable. And you can see if I even hover down here, we have no clip out item, so no interference of anything. Even here to the legend, there is enough space between there. Now let's put in the text. So go up here and go to add the text, say text. Then what I will say here, uh, CTX that fill style for the color. So the font color will be black, just straightforward, nothing fancy. Then we say CTX that font, and this will be a bolded font, 12 pixels, we just standard in Chart.js, and then sans serif as a font family. This is as well a standard in Chart.js. So the next thing what I want to do is I want to get some text assigned to it. So what I would like to do, uh, well, let's put in text, say fill text, to draw the text, and here, text, and then we have here the X and Y value. For the X and Y value, for now, I'm going to grab these two here. I'm not sure, I think we're not fully correct on this, or maybe we can get this one, well, we can get this here, yeah, the attachment line, or the line here, let's see how that works. Let's save that, refresh. As you can see here, it works, but once we are here, it does the opposite. So what I want to do here is basically the text here in position is correct. However, the other side, the text needs to start at the very beginning of the line, not at the very end. And you can see here, it needs to be a bit higher position. Next, this is a static text. I want to soft code that. If I scroll up here, I think I already have them. A description, I made this. So you can make one as well. You can give a description or anything you want. And all I did was just put in some text. So just make sure you have that as well. So then we're going to scroll down. I forgot to remove that. So in this video, it's already in there. Anyway, so now once we have that, what I can do is get that part. To do that, we're going to use here the concept of data. We're going to grab that data. And this data is basically the data object that we have here. And then we're going to say here from the data, dot data sets. And we get here index zero, you know, that's the only one. And then we're going to say here description and here the index. So what is the index number here? Well, basically the Hoover index that we grab. Put in here, save, refresh. So now if we move over it, Monday, long text, ABC, ABC, etc., etc. All right, this is all confirmed and works. So what I want to do now is get the position correct. To get the position correct, we will probably play around with these two here, or I get one of those. So what we need to do here now is the following. First of all, let's heighten or increase the height of the text because it's right now overlapping the line. So what I'm going to do here, deduct this with nine pixels to push the height up. Let's see if that works. There we are. That looks much better. The next thing what I want to do is I want to move all the way to the very start here but this should stay at this position so that means that this is correct but for the other one it is not so basically we could do here a similar structure so what i'm going to do here i'm just going to say here let x text because it's the x position of the text and we have to figure out what is this position here so you can say here x text if it's zero or more. So basically this is the center line for the uh, horizontal level. So if we're moving here past this, this zero or higher, then leave it as how it is now. So what is that text? In this case, I suspect it is this one here. I'm not sure, but let's put that in there. Let's save that, refresh and see what we have. All right, that is completely off. My apologies, but that is not the one. So what is it then? So we can see here, uh, this is the very, I guess this one here would be the very end of it. And we don't need that. Maybe we only need 15. Let's save that, refresh. There we are, that's the one I need. Because the 15 was with the line, the first diagonal line ending. So we have that one. However, here we need to fix that. So what I'm going to say here, let's put that in there. I'm just not sure where this will work if I put in a number, but let's leave it at that one for now. Save, refresh. All right, this is correct. 
this one is off so how many pixels do I need to move backwards probably if I look at this I suspect this amount of pixels because that is the very ending point or beginning depending on how you look at it very beginning or starting point of that line so save that refresh there we are all right so now we are very close in the next video we're going to make sure that the text will be matching with the line so we can make that line longer or shorter if the text would be very long.